Hello and welcome, beloveds, to another episode of Ask a Dr. Mumbi. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How are you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray that you are well in all your ways and that you're moving into living life uh, truly on your own terms. Special shout out to Sekhmet. Thank you so much for the singing bowl, beloveds. It's so important to start clearing up the energies around you, especially when you want to make, um, you know, a spiritual connection or when you want to hear things spiritually because there's so much noise out there, right? now there's a lot of you know jamming of, of of communication and information trying to misdirect information and that brings me kind of to the topic I wanted to um, talk about today so many of you have asked me why do we cover our hair uh, why do you know why do I cover my head for example why did I start doing that and you know, I was looking online and seriously, when you look at, because it's something that's been practiced for so long, you know, um, and when I was looking online, it was talking about, you know, women's modesty and we have to, you know, a submission to God, like, no, 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 that, that, well, that's not why I come in my head. Um, you see, beloved, this is like a massive antenna. This is your main information highway. This is where, this is like your satellite, beloved. This is where you collect all information. This is where you connect um, to cosmic beings, to your cosmic planet, to other spiritual beings, to the most high, to your spiritual team. It all happens through this. And um, as a satellite, it's like there are millions of stations that sometimes it can be picking up on. And some people's satellite is more advanced than other people's satellite, you know? Some people have stronger antennas than others. But when you are, you know, when you are a chosen one, when you are doing any kind of spiritual work, it is very important to be careful of what your satellite dish is focusing in on and trying to, um, where the information is coming from. And so we wear a head, you know, a head covering be for protection and for shielding. First of all, to protect us from any other, you know, any other information that may not be um, for us, um, you know, from other nefarious lower level beings who may want to interrupt the message that our ancestors or our cosmic connections are giving us and, and or may want to misconstrue it. So it acts as a protection um, to, to kind of protect the message as it comes through. Um, it also protects us from you know the the manipulation and influence of of Babylon's messaging because the, most of our attacks have come through here where Babylon literally has the technology beloveds like where they can deposit thoughts in your mind so they'll deposit you know all of a sudden you'll feel anxious all of a sudden you'll feel, you know, and you may just be all on your own, just doing your thing. And then all of a sudden you start to feel uneasy and there's really no, nothing in your environment. You're not getting anything from the higher sources. They didn't warn you in your morning meditation that something may come your way. So it's kind of to protect you from foreign thoughts, you know, because that's how the, the, those are the psychic attacks. Those are the spiritual attacks, beloveds, that come. Um, and also, you know, like when you're, when you've got a really strong satellite dish, let me just put it like that. When your crown chakra is super open, when you're prophetic, when you're a seer, when you're a hearer, you know, clairvoyant, clairaudient, um, it's like other beings, other spiritual beings see that in you. And maybe they'll want to get a message, like maybe you'll, you'll go into a room or you'll go to a restaurant or you'll go to, you know, wherever you go. I know I said the restaurants. Wherever you happen to go, you'll go at where other people are. And maybe the ancestors of that person um, will, will have been trying to get a message to that person. They won't get it. So they'll try and invade your, you know, come into your frequency so that you can deliver that message, some message to that person. And so we usually put the head wrap, especially like when we're going out in public or where we're going to be around a lot of people to kind of prevent that. Because uh, as above, so below, beloveds. So if I put this, you know, headscarf on on this physical plane, then it has a spiritual connotation, whether I know, whether I do it subconsciously or consciously, where it, you know, it's, it's like a protecting, it's like a shield. It's a very powerful act. And it stands for something in the spiritual realm where it says, yo, there, there's, a, there's a guard up, there's, a, there's security. 
the security around that uh, satellite. We can't approach it any other way. Um, and another reason that I do it, and so I, I usually wear uh, um, my headscarf when I'm doing a show because then it's to protect the message to make sure that it's the, you know, the, I'm, I'm delivering what I'm receiving and it's not being, you know, um, intercepted or, or re, you know, intercepted and uh, tarnished um, as it comes through me. Um, secondly, like when I'm around, when I go out in public, for many empaths, you guys who are really super sensitive and stuff, who are very compassionate and very emotional, um, sometimes you will feel because you're on your, 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 like your satellite is switched onto the emotional realm. I don't know how else to put it. You will literally feel other people's emotions and some Sometimes, if you're not aware of this sensitivity that you have, which is a great power, by the way, uh, you may mistake other people's emotions for your own. So you may go somewhere and there's a lot of anger and animosity and all of a sudden you start feeling angry and, and you know, um, and start feeling this rage in you. But that's not even you. It's because that energy, because you're such a wide open antenna, a wide open source and you kind of have to be that to feel to operate on those higher levels then you will you know those emotions will enter your information highway and you'll start to feel some type of way so in in front of crowds and stuff I always cover my always cover my head so that I make sure that I'm totally balanced because sometimes those emotions other people's emotions especially now beloveds where people are so uncertain and unsure, and especially the ones in this global hypnosis, like you really have to be careful that you're staying balanced and you're staying in your world, in your emotions and not in others. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. Welcome back, beloveds, to Ask Dr. Mumbi. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. So why do we cover our heads? It's a, it's a part of protection to protect us because this is our information superhighway. This is how we get all our energy, all our new information, all our codes that activate the different parts of our body and heal us. It all comes through here. But also the enemy always you also uses this to target us with um, low vibrational thoughts, uh, you know, and to kind of jam our frequency because that's what that does. When you, they put you in fear, when they put you in anxiety, um, you know, they, they will kind of jam up the system and make, make your frequency where you can't hear those higher frequencies because these lower frequencies are kind of jamming up your plexus. So it's very important, beloveds, um, to also clear to clear your channel. As I said, as above, so below. You can take a physical action and it has a spiritual impact, a massive spiritual impact. So I usually sage the top of my head, especially after I've done like heavy, heavy channeling, heavy, heavy mediumship. I'll usually, you know. And um, the third, th the other place, so in public, when I'm doing my show. And lastly, um, when I'm doing high level meditations where I'm actually communicating with, you know, in my in my own space, um, where it's just me and spirit, I'll definitely cover my head just to make sure that, you know, if I go too deep in the meditation, other nefarious spiritual beings don't try and take advantage of my body or my mind or something like that um, to try and do something while I'm not there. So that's why that is there. Um, and the other thing is, beloved, is like when you visit extremely holy sites where the vibration is extremely high or where you when you visit places where there's been extreme trauma, these kind of places have very powerful pockets of energy, of information, very uh, so much information. So if you are a sensitive person, it is a good idea to cover your head so that you don't get bombarded. Um, you know, with all the, with all this information, because you may go into a holy site and one of the ancient ones wants to get in touch with you and you end up fainting or something because it's just such a heavy download. So we always protect us or you feel exhausted. So usually what you'll notice once you, once you start where, you know, and you be spiritually led. 
because I was spiritually led. I'm not, I wasn't that big on it. And by the way, when I'm at home, when I'm in the sunshine, my hair is out and I'm just, you know, receiving that solar energy, man, that UV rays. I'm just sucking it in. Um, but what you'll find is that if you're not protecting your head, um, then oftentimes you'll start to feel really exhausted. Like there's certain places you go, like if you're a super sensitive person and you don't cover your head when you go to a, an event or something, you will come back emotionally drained or you'll start feeling emotionally drained. And it will even lower your vibration because you'll be absorbing all these other people's thoughts and emotions. And then if you're not aware of that, you think those emotions are your emotions. And it, 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 it really does kind of drag you down and drag you back. But you'll feel almost like tired, exhausted. You might even feel thirsty, like dehydrated just from the overactivity of like too many people's information coming into, you know, into your super highway, into your satellite. Um, another thing is it will throw you off balance because a lot of people are out of balance right now, beloveds. And you can see in their thinking and, and in the pettiness the low level of kind of conversations and, you know, arguments that, and debates that people want to have. Like, it's so, like, even the, just what people are thinking is so low level. You really don't want to see that. And you see, some of us are so sensitive that we can hear, literally hear the thoughts of others, beloveds, which is sometimes like a blessing and a curse. Especially when you're listening to, to killers and rapists who are just mingling amongst the crowd because that's what Babylon did. Babylon made it hard for us to discern the good from the bad so the demons can just literally walk among us. So when you can hear all that, sometimes it's good to put a shield because this now acts as a shield, beloveds. When you put your headscarf, it acts as a shield against any kind of lower level um, parasites, parasitic thoughts that want to come and take hostage of your mind. And also realize, beloveds, because it's a super highway, information is going out as well as coming in. And so that's another reason that you may feel drained is because, um, you know, like it takes a lot of energy. When you enter a place that is imbalanced, because you are a balanced one, when you start to absorb the thoughts and emotions of others which are of a lower frequency, immediately, and you don't know if those are yours or not, immediately it just enters your subconscious, you will move into overdrive to use your energy to at least create some kind of temporary balance. And so a lot of energy will be released from your crown, which is another reason that people get super tired, um, you know, when they haven't covered their heads. But you will literally release all this energy to try and create an environment where your high, vi high vibrational self can kind of be. But if you don't have, you know, if you don't have a headscarf, you're literally bleeding that, bleeding energy, like even unnecessary energy is just bleeding from you to create that. But when you have a headscarf, and that is your intention. Like when you start, you, first of all, you won't even feel that. You'll feel a bit off. Like you'll feel, you'll just, you, you'll see people like, you, you, your spirit will probably make you not want to get too close to certain people. But wherever you enter, your spirit will naturally, especially if you are high, highest level being in that environment, will take over and will make the environment fit your vibe. But when you have a scarf on, you only use a minimal amount of your energy because you're not wasting. You're giving the specific energy that's needed because your energy is now contained and you are in control of it. By putting the scarf, you've given spiritual control to you, to your higher self. I really hope I'm making sense, beloveds. So wearing a scarf is very important. It's very symbolic. And it's all about understanding as above, so below that any action you take here has a has an impact and reaction in your spiritual life and can you know and in your spiritual world and can actually take on something can manifest as something and vice versa anything that you declare and hold on to spiritually must manifest here physically so don't make it a religious thing i really you know i think that's part of the religious psychosis but overstand how sensitive this is. And then your hair is alive and is like extra antennas. 
So if you're out there and you've got like millions of antennas picking up everything, plus your, your super highway and feeding your satellite with absolutely every rubbish, every rotten thought of others, it's just, it's going to overwhelm you. And as you get higher, beloveds, as you become clearer in your thinking, as you become, you know, more refined in the kind of thoughts and energy that you entertain, you may find that the spirit calls you to start to wrap your hair or to at least just have a covering in certain situations. And men can do hats, you know, hoodies, whatever. There's many ways. Protect your energy, beloveds. Protect this. Protect this. And clear it out from time to time so that your satellite can get it, you know, can capture the highest level information that is of most value to your life and can filter everything else out. Tuko pamoja. Tuko pamoja.